On February 14, 2005, the cruise liner Grand Voyager got caught in a storm 100 kilometers from Menorca Island in the Mediterranean Sea. You might say, so what? But the laws of the sea are simple. The heavier the ship, the harder it is for a storm to capsize it. And Grand Voyager, although a passenger cruise liner, was not the biggest or heaviest, measuring only 180 meters long. In other words, even smaller than the Titanic. Therefore, when an 8-point storm with waves as high as 14 meters and wind speeds of 100 km per hour hit it, the liner tilted so much that it almost capsized. A strong wave broke the glass railings on the ship's deck and water entered the engine room, damaging the engine control system. In fact, they simply broke down. The electricity was cut off throughout the ship. It was so scary that even the radio didn't work. The captain immediately signaled distress using an emergency transmitter. The power of this transmitter is usually not enough for any Anything. This time, all the distress signals were mostly transmitted by the tanker Gimme, 